Hey hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you for sticking around and being so patient. I know it's been quite a while since the last video. So for today's video, we are going to use the Wi-Fi Marauder firmware that helps to transform your Flipper Zero into a multi-tool for wireless hacking and security testing. The Flipper Zero's Wi-Fi developer board does come with the firmware installed. However, we have to flash Marauder in order to give us some more functionalities. This is the Flipper's Wi-Fi dev board and it has boot and reset button on it. Now let us see how we can flash the firmware in order to get it working. Let's go to the GitHub repository of Uber Guiders Flipper and you can see there is a quick and easy flasher updater for Marauder framework. I'll scroll down and as you can see there is a zip file which we can download. I'll click to download the zip file. Now that my file has been downloaded, I'll extract it to the same folder. Now before running the flash.batch file, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to connect my Wi-Fi module with my laptop. Before connecting it, I'm going to hold the boot button for 5 seconds and then I'll connect it. Okay, now that it is done, I'll just double click the flash.bat file. Now, as you can see, there is a terminal which has been opened. Here we have 6 options, out of which we are going to select the first option. And as you can see, it has started. Now what it is doing is, it will erase the firmware, the existing one, and go through writing the new Marauder firmware to your Wi-Fi dev board. It will take some time. After completion, it says on the screen that we can close the window. It is important that you wait for this bit to finish it. So now I'll just close the terminal and we'll just go to a flipper. I will unplug my Type-C cable from my Wi-Fi board and I will connect my Wi-Fi board to my flipper 0. And then I will connect my Type-C cable to my flipper 0. I'll just open my QFlipper application so that you can see my Flipper Zero screen on my PC. And now that it is mirrored, I'll go to Apps and then I'll go to GPIO. Now here we have a folder called ESP and we have a set of options which we can use. For this video, we are going to use the Evil Portal to demonstrate how Flipper allows you to set up a fake Wi-Fi access point and tricks on users to connect it. Now that we have everything set up, I'll click on Start Portal. And here you can see it has set up its own server, which has been hosted. My fake access point is visible in my Wi-Fi networks. I'll click on connect and it is redirecting me to a web page where it is asking me for my credentials. I'll just give a dummy credential for now. And I will enter a dummy password for this demonstration. After clicking on next, you can see the username and password has been captured by the flipper. Public networks are often insecure, making it easier for hackers to intercept your data and access sensitive information. So to prevent it, never connect to a publicly available Wi-Fi. That's all from my side. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to my channel for further updates.